You, uh, so you grew up in Long Beach, which is I not do. not so far from here. Because you were in Long Beach, very close to Los Angeles, is that why you decided you wanted to be an actor? Uh, why you wanted to be on television? Did that have play no, into it? No, no, this career really chose me, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was one of those annoying kids that just had to do something like that, like always staging a play or a puppet show or would interrupt my parents you know, evenings with their friends to say, I'm giving a lecture on birds or whatever. I was a Did weird your parents kid. like it? Were they tolerant? Uh, Not really. Was, I no. mean, they didn't love it, but they encouraged it, uh -huh. sort of, because they, they, they didn't schedule every minute of my day. Uh -huh. So I had a lot of time to use my imagination. Is that a nice way of saying you were a latchkey kid? Yes. Yes. <laughs> they didn't no. schedule every minute I love my day. parents, I just want to say. OK, Dave all right. Carolyn, rock on. <laughs> You, but, oh, by the yeah. way, speaking of parents, yes. the character you play mm -hmm. on The Goldbergs is based on a real woman. Yes. Uh, what is the real woman's name? Her name is Beverly Goldberg. Beverly Goldberg, just yeah. the same name as yeah. the show. Yes. And she's alive? Uh, she's alive yeah. and on Twitter. Oh, she's on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Right now? As, as Goldilocks405. Hi, Beth. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. And she was, I mean, or is probably still, I don't know, maybe if she laid off in later years, <laughs> A real, a very, very obtrusive woman, yes? If, if by that you mean bossy, yes. Yeah, I mean bossy. She, she's got some stuff to say. Yeah. And, and did yeah. you meet with her before taking this role? Did she have to give you her seal of approval? I did not. You did not I meet met her. with her uh, halfway into the first season, and then she gave me her seal of approval. Mm -hmm. But she, I was scared to meet her because her son kept saying, my mother is coming to the set. Are you OK with that? And I said, well, yeah. <laughs> Whoever wants to come to the set, I'll say hi to. Yeah. You don't understand. My mother is coming to the set. Are you all right with that? <laughs> yes. And? Third time, why do you not want your mom to come to the set? Yeah, right. Well, y I would you know, think you would have an on, idea. Now I'm freaked out. Based on the stories that have been scripted, which yes. are a lot of them are from, are from his real, real life. life. Yes. In fact, this is something that you tell us what this is, uh, okay. this item that you That's brought. That's something you want to give to a, a treasured friend or colleague. Mm -hmm. It's a pillowcase with Bev's face on it. Yeah. So this See? is based on a real story. Well, yeah. It's very now, soft. How, Pleasant is that you're gonna roll over in the night and see <laughs> someone who just wants to take care of you. <laughs> um, well, back in the 80s, and our show takes place in the 80s, yeah. kiosks would pop up that would put your name, not your name, your face on anything. Yeah. So in this episode, Bev had all kinds of things made with her face or her kids' faces and gave them out as gifts. Mm -hmm. Now, did she really go that crazy in real life? I don't know, but that's what we did. And now these are selling like hotcakes. And these are, uh, You can get yeah. them on abc.com. If you can find don't a kiosk. Afraid. Are they actually yes. for sale? Right? Yeah, they are. <laughs> but that's for you, Jimala. Thank you can you. have that. Well, it is, if you want to drool on Wendy, go to <laughs> abc.com and, uh, <laughs> Do you have you these know. on your bed at home? <laughs> Uh, it seems like oh, you should. Oh, no, I don't deserve fancy things. <laughs> Wendy McClendon <laughs> Covey, everybody. The Goldbergs, Wednesday nights here on ABC. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, click the subscribe button below, and good things will happen forever.